Hi, I'm Jacob Pope. I'm 19 years old. I'm a show jumping rider from Columbia, Maryland. Uh, currently, I'm a freshman at Rollins College in Winter Park, Florida. When I was in high school, uh, I rode with Street Moore, who's actually the coach at my school, who I still consider my trainer. Um, then when I rode in the equitation uh, here at the Winter Equestrian Festival and over across the nation, I rode with Andre Dignelli at Heritage Farm. Um, and now I'm a working student for Lauren Huff, uh, who's based out of Wellington, Florida, and also shows abroad in Europe. I'm going to say the emphasis on connection is always important. Um, today I was schooling a horse with Lauren, and she said, you know, more connection, more connection, not collection, but connection. So, you know, leg to hand connection. Also, that connection can also mean, you know, just you and the horse bonding and all that stuff. So I think uh, connection is always important. Going forward is always important. Um, yeah. What Street Moore would say, my trainer from Maryland, uh, going off the stuff that Lauren and Andre always tell me about the connection and uh, all that would have to be going too slow. Street always tells me I would go too slow to the first jump. He thinks that's the main problem that everyone has, you know, being too uh, heavy on the mouth and just going too slow overall. Favorite sayings? Right before go in the ring, I always go over the course. I always think rhythm. You know, uh, Street and Amy, who are the people who trained me up in Maryland, would always say, work on your pace, track, and rhythm. So that's a good saying, I guess. I mean, you can't get over the jumps if you don't have pace, if you're not paying attention to your track, and if you don't have a good rhythm. So, so far? Biggest success? Um, well, I'd have to say definitely winning the McClay Finals and the USCF Talent Search Finals. Um, those are sort of the definite highlights, but also winning the Emerging Athletes Program, um, which is really where it all started, um, would have to be the biggest highlight for me. Um, it's not as prestigious as the McClay, but uh, without winning that, without having gone through the ranks there, I'd, I wouldn't have been standing here today. I mean, without that, uh, Andre wouldn't have found me at uh, the George Morris Clinic, and I probably would have never competed in the McClay. Uh, Street Moore, who I keep talking about, uh, suggested that I try the Emerging Athletes Program, which is a great program by the USHJA. Um, it's a series of three clinics that you have to qualify for. So I sent in my application for the first one and you know, just went there as a learning experience. I wanted a clinic with Melanie Smith-Taylor, who's an Olympian, and I, I thought you know, that's a great experience. And I got an email that I qualified for the second level, and I thought, great, you know, another clinic from Melanie Smith-Taylor, and now Callum Solem. So uh, I just continued you know, qualifying for the different levels and eventually made it to nationals and came out on top at nationals which um, then got me a spot at the George Morris Invitational Clinic that's held here uh, at the beginning of January. And there um, I met Lily Keenan who said, you know, Andre Dignelli, who I ride with, would love to have you as a working student. And I thought, oh, I don't know. Like, I don't think I'm a good enough rider. And, uh, you know, it's a big barn. And I thought that would be great, but I never thought it would be possible. So. Andre actually reached out to us and gave us a call and ended up figuring it all out. And so then I was a working student for him for two years and uh, rode with him for a year straight, you know, competing in all the equitation classes with him training me and riding his phenomenal horses. And I ended up coming out on top in the USET and the McClay finals. Sure. So my local trainer, who was Street Moore, um, I rode great horses with him and uh, did some lo more local type shows, you know, we do rated shows, but I did a lot of shows in Maryland, a lot of shows in Virginia, Pennsylvania, um, and it was a big operation, you know, 70 horses, two indoor rings, I mean, it was a big operation, so the size wasn't, you know, such a huge shock when I went to Heritage, but um, it was just amazing. I mean, there's probably between five and ten professionals working there who are amazing at what they do, and being in a constant, a consistent program on fantastic horses, constantly being lessened by fantastic professionals. I mean, it within just a month, within just a week, you know, j within just a couple lessons, I was already better. Um, streets training was fantastic, and 
I owe a lot to street, but also training with Andre was incredible. From Lauren now, it's been a lot of a transition to jumpers. So when I was with Heritage, I did a lot of equitation. I did a little bit of hunters. Um, and when I was with street, I did all hunters and a little bit of equitation. So I'd really never done the jumpers uh, too much. Um, so actually one of the person who trained Andre when he won USET finals gave me a horse to show in some Grand Prix and some bigger classes. So I'd had a little bit of experience. But now getting to ride with Lauren Huff has been just even more of a transition further and further into jumpers, which is really where I would ultimately like to be. So just constantly focusing on jumpers, jumpers, jumpers has been, you know, what Lauren has been teaching me. A little bit. You know, I've had projects here and there when I was little and, uh, well not little, but when I was a teenager, a younger teenager, uh, I'd be given, you know, different horses and stuff like that. I was given my first pony because he was stubborn and no one else wanted him when I was 10 years old. So even when I was 10, you know, I was working with little stubborn ponies and uh, right now I have a horse living at home who Street gave me. He was a little bit difficult, didn't really work out in the program at school, so he gave him to me and I've worked with him and you know brought him back he's not scared anymore and I've had a couple sale projects of my own you know I buy a pony for you know a reasonable price and work with them all summer and then sell them for a profit and that's how I show you know I, I off the money that I've made myself so I do not have a string of horses by any means no like right now I have two horses in Orlando uh, one that Don Stewart was so kind to let me ride for, you know, a certain amount of time. Andre let me have a horse for a little while. Um, you know, we, my family, we don't have a million horses. So um, just trying to find, you know, different connections here and there with people who have a horse that maybe just needs one rider for a while rather than, you know, eight different riders. So. I have one horse from Don, which is very nice of him to let me have uh, for the time being. And I also have one horse of my best friends. Uh, she's getting ready to go to college and doesn't really have the time. And me having, you know, I go to a good school, but I also work my schedule so I have enough time to ride. I also have, have him to ride. A good show jumper. I would definitely have to say a good brain. You can't have one that's too crazy. You can't have one that's too dead. Um, definitely has to be reasonable, uh, has to be athletic, has to be forgiving. You know, we can't, we're not always perfect. We can't always find our distances. I mean, you'd like to, but everyone makes mistakes sometimes. So um, definitely forgiving, empathetic, but definitely athletic. Definitely have a heart, definitely be brave. Human, I'd have to say the same. I mean, horses also make mistakes. Um, so much of it depends on the rider, but... Um, you know, the horse also plays a part, and sometimes a horse isn't their best, and, you know, you have to be forgiving, you have to be empathetic, you have to be sympathetic, um, and you also have to be brave. I mean, you can see the jumps behind me, they're pretty high, so you have to be pretty brave all, as well to jump a class like that. And you have to love, like, the You have to love it. You really have to love the sport. Favorite thing about horses? I would have to say they're heart, how much they love things. I mean, it's incredible um, how gentle they are with being such huge animals. I don't even think of them as big animals anymore. You know, someone who's not a horse person comes in the barn and they're like, oh my gosh, that's such a huge horse. And I just love how gentle they are. And, um, you know, I just love going up to them. And I don't know. Also, I love how athletic they are. They've got to be one of the most athletic animals. I mean, long legs, it can jump over such huge jumps. Their athleticism is incredible.